All of BC's public health orders were extended indefinitely Friday morning as Dr. Bonnie Henry expressed concerns about new variants of the virus that have popped up in BC in recent weeks. The order restricting all indoor social gatherings was set to expire Friday. And while transmission of the virus has been decreasing in BC, Dr. Henry said British Columbians need to stay on track through February. We are in a, a place of a little bit of uns <laughs> more uncertainty um, and that we need to buy some time to understand if this positive things that we're seeing are going to allow us to uh, increase some of the, re or take away some of the restrictions we have in place now and be able to do that safely. So we don't yet know what that is. And that's why I'm leaving it open-ended. I'm not putting an end to uh, the orders that are in place now. She noted both the UK and South African variants have now been identified in BC. And we don't yet know what that means for the future. And if we start to see, uh, I hope we won't, we start to see one of these variants take off, uh, then all bets are off. And we may need to actually increase some of the restrictions that we have in place. I don't want to go there, but right now we need to buy that time to understand, to stay the course, so we can, you know, part of getting immunization going again is really important to protect those who are most at risk, and that gives us a bit of buffer. But with the supply of vaccine from the federal government slowing in past weeks, it's delayed the rollout of the vaccine to many of BC's most vulnerable by at least two weeks. You know, we were hoping mid-February, but the vaccine has not arrived, as you know, for this last two weeks. And uh, even next week, it's going to be reduced from what we expected. And we are putting in place, so it's more the 1st of March, people who are 80 and above in the community. And while there's many variables, Dr. Henry said she hopes to begin loosening restrictions by the end of February through our shared efforts and as long as we continue on this path we can start planning for the return of activities at the end of this month. Looking ahead we are working and continue to work with Via Sport and we can start to put plans in place to get, the, get youth sport up and running by the end of this month. We can start to, with faith services to prepare to resume services with full plans in place to ensure everyone is safe. And all of us can start to resume some of those important social interactions in a moderate way, those connections that have been missing. So by the end of the month, once again, we can look to having our safe six, our bubble, again. For Castanet News here in Kelowna, I'm Nick Johansson.